Well, the thing about Wagner is more than any other composer until his time, you have the closest relationship between the text and the music. He uses a system of musical motives called light motifs, which describes objects, people, events, also emotions like love, for example. For that reason, I mean, one can enjoy the opera listening to the great singers and the beautiful music, but it's helpful if one familiarizes oneself with what's happening in the opera and the musical motives which are related to what is happening in the opera. It's a really a intricate web of the way he combines all the motives and the text, and still there's a real musical line through the whole thing. We are doing a slightly reduced version with six horns instead of eight horns, and with triple winds instead of quadruple winds, but it's still pretty close to 90 people in the pit. This is the shortest one, but it's the longest stretch of music that exists in Western civilization without a break. It's two hours and 35 minutes approximately. Even though the other Wagner operas are longer, each act is maybe an hour, maybe an hour 20. In this particular case, we all have to play and I have to conduct for two hours and 35 minutes without any break. The beginning is sort of symbolic of a number of things, perhaps the beginning of the universe or nature. And then he brings in a flowing motive. That it's also all in E-flat major. It starts with the celli, then the violas are added, then the second violins and the violas. This flowing motive is symbolic of the waters of the Rhine River. For me, it's great to do it a second time. I mean, the ring is so complex that one can bring much more to it as a performer if one has done it before. I discover more of the interrelationships between the characters, more about the connections between the music. For example, when I did Rheingold the first time, I hadn't done the whole ring. So I realize now in many cases how what happens in Rheingold affects what happens later on. I think it means that the Atlanta Opera has progressed to the point where it is really becoming a major company. The city should be very proud of the fact that the Atlanta Opera can undertake, beginning with Rheingold and then continuing with Valkyrie, beginning the idea of a ring cycle. That means a lot. Yeah.